I have a pool where it's challenge here. Not only am I in the Northeast with a really short swimming season anyway, I've got tons of trees around this and uh, most of the year after three o'clock, there's no sun on the pool. So, Mr. Paz helped me out. So this is my friend Wim and his dad and I am giving Wim some of this pressure treated lumber that I took apart a deck last year. So we're cutting it down. We're using my miter saw and all this is powered with our inverters right now. Uh, the SMA inverters have no problem at all kicking that on. This is all solar power from yesterday. And we're creating these little triangle frames that are gonna support some solar panels for Wim at his house. Mr. Paz helped me out. We, uh, we set up some solar panels, some four by eight panels, and used a, a really small pump that, to finish out this year and test out the whole thing. And ideally, instead of the last usable week being the second week of August, I'm gonna be able to extend this into September, October for basically free. A little bitty pump this year. Next year, I'll plumb it into the pump that I use regularly, which runs at a low speed during the day all the time anyway. Very energy efficient. And it'll pump it through the solar panels and into the pool. Got a couple of uh, shark bite fittings. You know, saves some time compared to copper sweat. You can see our triangle frame comes up. We have about a two foot cantilever on the end of these panels. This is how we did it back here. Quick, simple job. Putting the panels together, was that harder than you expected? It was different than I expected. I guess it's just a matter of experience with that. Like, Once you do it, you have a much clearer idea of what somebody was explaining when they were talking about it. So when you, when you had described what I needed to do, I heard all the words, I understood it, but now having done it, it's, it's night and day different. Back here, we have a two by six going between the supports, and that's what the panels are resting against that way. And then we have just a, like a two by three I ripped and we snapped a chalk line and then that creates a shelf. And when you get over to this, this part, it's raised up on this and this is raised itself a little anyway. So it gives you the slope that if you're somebody like me who didn't really understand how the, the panels worked, I thought there was like this snaky thing and it said it's a, a solid pipe at the bottom. And when you cap it here, it forces all the tubes to fill up and then squirt out the top because of the other cap on the other end. And so once that's coming out the top, and you, once you stop though, it all drains down of the tubes to the bottom tube, and the bottom tube's tilted with the shelf that we just showed you, and shoots at that end. End of the day, making the last connection. We're actually just running this with some garden hoses for now. That's a 35,000 gallon pool. I, I didn't think that that little itty bitty pump was gonna be able to push it across the lawn, fill up the panels, and then push it back to my pool. We're talking 200 foot hoses on either side of it. And eventually that's gonna be a buried flexible PVC pipe. But the fact that you were able to do everything with that little bitty pump, and we just tested it out. And it's the end of the day. There's almost no sunlight left. And yet the water coming out of that was already 20 degrees warmer. Everything's grand and I have three, maybe four months extra swimming season on you know capping uh, together both of the ends. Paz, thank you for the idea, the execution, the expertise in setting it up and putting it together, uh, answering all my stupid questions, answering them a second time when I did the wrong thing anyway. It goes all the way over here, and it comes <laughs> up, but it's super excellent because you can see it's, it's like higher here. In the fall, before the winter. Fall, yes, the fall. Before we get freezy things, uh, uh, and they didn't leak, so that was kind of fantastic.